usually a plant space set aside outdoor for the purpose of sustainable production of food for private consumption, whereas farming are used purposely for production for the consumption of the masses. This week on The Ghanaian Farmer, we bring you the concept of backyard garden, and we are currently in the private residence of a Philippine by name, Michael, to take us through his concept of backyard garden. And this one, I'm told, is called hydroponics. We are going for a quick break that when we come back, he tell us all that you need to know about it. You can get interactive on our social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, on Instagram, The Ghanaian Farmer. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enginam, and I'll be right back after this break. <music> For joining us on the Ghanaian farmer, mm -hmm. and Thank you. we are so much glad you've invited us to have a look at your backyard garden. It really looks great. Now, moving forward, what inspired this concept of backyard garden? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first, um, thank you, Ghanaian Farmer Channel, for um, be, um, going to my place and seeing my backyard garden. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, I'm very grateful to have um, to be a guest on of the backyard garden <laughs> here in Ghana. Right, you're most welcome. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. Um, backyard gardening is um, basically um, people who has hobbies um, for gardening, yes, they can do that. But for me, backyard gardening is, uh, is a way of uh, having a sustainable food, mm. um, especially during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, um, in the Philippines, there's a lot of people who did backyard gardening during the pandemic and uh, and to have your um, vegetable fresh mm -hmm. and uh, clean like this, and uh, um, it's also good for for the environment. Awesome. What is the difference between backyard gardening and a regular farm? Okay, uh, backyard gardening. Of course, uh, the, the the difference is one is the obvious reason is the scale. Okay. <laughs> so this is small scale, mm -hmm. and. Uh, in 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 normal farming you have a big land and you you plant in in the soil directly mm -hmm. but with this backyard gardening especially this type of garden is uh, called hydroponics okay so this one uses water and uh, to hold to hold the plants is uh, i use coco peat okay yeah it's coming from uh, a coconut and then Yes. So and then you peeled it with the nutrient solution. Mm -hmm. So, yes. And then um, the advantage of this one is mm. uh, um, when you water when you water your plant. Okay. So it's you know you're just watering the we're just watering the the pot. Okay. Or you know everything is directed there. Okay. Unlike the the normal Farm. farming, mm -hmm. um, when you put fertilizer, you basically when you water it the the, the nutrients is scattered, scattered right. all over the place. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now with backyard garden, mm -hmm. um, before you see your crops mm -hmm. or your vegetables grown to this stage, mm -hmm. do you also go through the process like getting your seedlings, doing the nursery, transplanting? Mm -hmm. Do you use fertilizer? Take us through the process before you see the crops. Yes. So normally, um, if the seeds are uh, are available, I, I buy them the, from the local farmer mm. farmer shop. Okay. Uh, you can buy them. But uh, the other option is, um, for example, that this cherry tomato. Uh -huh. I I bought a few few uh, cherry tomato, and then I take off the seeds okay. and dry them, mm -hmm. and then and then. Uh, I, I planted them, you know, uh, I nursed them. Okay. So I have I have some and I will show it to you right. later. Um, yeah, so. So we have cherry tomatoes here. Mm, yes. We have what, what, what else do you have? So, so I have on this side, I uh -huh. have cherry tomato. Okay. And I have uh, lettuce. Okay. And then on that side. green pepper here. Yes, yeah, it's, a, it's a bell pepper. Okay. Um, so, so I have yellow and red variety. Okay. And then I also have. Um, chili pepper as well. Chili pepper. Okay. And then uh, another lettuce. Mm -hmm. um, Chinese cabbage. I see. And uh, uh, water spinach. You really have everything <laughs> you need to make your salad. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that is great. Uh -huh. Okay. So this tractor. Mm -hmm. 
commonly what we see in Ghana or most of the Ghanaian mm -hmm. backyard gardens, mm -hmm. they either use they either use the car tie, mm -hmm. their old used car tie, mm -hmm. or they use their garlands we use to uh, store water. Yeah, yeah. But your structure is a bit different. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what went into having this kind of presentable structure. Did you buy directly or you bought the metals and you fixed it yourself? Yes. So so what I did here is, is I bought I bought pipes okay. um, from the local hardware store, right. pipes, uh, and I just drilled them. Huh drill them at the correct size okay. and then everything is uh, bought locally okay. and then this metal structure i bought them and then cut them cut them into sizes mm -hmm. to to have this vertical type of hydroponics ah, so you put everything together yes, yourself yes, so yes. if i want some you can put it together for me oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> now let's look oh. at the distance in between each cups uh -huh. um what relevance does it have on the Various plants you grow. Yes. Why do you leave space in the Yes, uh, good question. Um, normally, um, um, the lettuces they can grow up to eight or twelve inches. But okay. um, so what I did here is in between, in center to center of the hole, I I, I put eight inches. Okay. So that they, they will have um, good uh, good uh, amount of air and mm -hmm. and uh, sunlight. Okay. I see. Now, you told me there is water mm -hmm. running through the pipes, uh -huh. and then you mix it with a little bit of fertilizer, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Do you change this water around the crops? Um, you don't change them. You add, you add, uh, you add water when, okay. when because what, um, what um, the plants consume waters, okay. right? So, you you check you check the pH, mm -hmm. you check the uh, the easy uh, electrical conductivity uh, means the, the the concentration of the nutrients in water. Mm -hmm. So when you check that, uh, you, you can add. You can add. And okay. then the only time the only time you're going to remove the water is when you're replacing when you're replacing the uh, when you're going to plant new, new crops. Okay. Because like for example, this one they um, they are empty now. Okay. I just cleaned them uh, two days ago. Okay, so you are able to clean. Yes. Okay. So you can clean them. Right. So you can clean them, and uh, I have the seeds ready next week. Hmm. So I will be I will be planting, planting them. New yes. So okay. these these are from the old from the old plants. Okay. So it's reusable. It's right. a styrofoam. Okay. Okay. And then now you told me use cocoa pits. Yes. Why don't you use the regular sun? And you uh, use cocoa pits, with you? yes, yes, okay. Uh, with hydroponics, mm -hmm. um, uh, it is recommended uh, to use um, non non soil. Uh, okay. Yeah, so uh, hydroponics is a non non soil. We don't use uh, soil at so, all. Soil at you all. have to use cocoa pit. Cocoa pit. Uh, there are mediums, okay. so you can use um, if you don't have uh, clay, okay. clay, mm -hmm. um, clay, clay balls. Uh, right. You can use um, pebbles okay. or cocoa pit. Right. So but I want to talk about the pebbles now. Mm -hmm. Marbles. Mm -hmm. Where do you get them and what also advantage does it give to the crops you've planted? Okay. So uh, let me show you this one. Mm -hmm. um, this one, uh -huh. as you can see, um, um, it, inside inside is cocoa pit. Okay. Okay. So the roots grows and then it will go outside. Right. Now, um, this is um, or, uh, wet all the time uh -huh. and with sunlight it uh -huh. will create molds I don't know if the camera can see yes, this the green yes so green. so the green things mm. so it will develop molds and you don't want that okay you don't want that in hydroponics it needs to be clean totally uh -huh. clean so the purpose yeah so the marbles uh -huh. you use I use that to cover to cover it from sunlight the surface so, of yeah, the yeah, yeah. so it pits, yeah. and it prevents the sun from going in oh, okay. and then and then it adds additional reflection for you know okay. sun okay now, now let's talk about the spaces also around the cups what are they for the oh uh, this is for for the roots to come out the root of the crop is yes planted. yes okay. it okay. will go out um, and then fill in the so the right light. now right now look some so of the roots. yeah they, it started to go out okay. so it will go uh -huh. and and uh, it will suck some some of the nutrients, nutrients in, in the water uh -huh. ah i see okay now what kind of weather is good for such uh, uh, hydroponics crops okay this uh, this is this is uh, uh, this is uh, the M this is called nft uh, okay. nutrient film technique right um 
this is ideal if you have a, a greenhouse mm -hmm. a greenhouse uh, with uh, you, where you can control the the temperature mm -hmm. and the and the sunlight okay okay so because because it will heat okay. yeah and uh, and uh, that's the disadvantage of this one ah, so it's heat up yeah it will heat the, it okay. will heat so and then you will have issues mm. with, with your plants mm. but uh, there's another one mm -hmm. um, but I cannot find it here in Ghana okay. um, there are styro 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 uh, styro boards yeah. so because styrofoam mm. um, when when it is heat by by sun it the, the heat doesn't go inside oh, okay. yeah okay I see now let's talk about the ch uh, cherry tomatoes yes How to mature for you to start harvesting and enjoying your vegetables okay uh, this one um, I from sowing it takes me um, it takes me 45 45 days to to um, mm. it takes me 45 days to have my my first fruit okay for the cherry tomatoes yes for the cherry okay. tomatoes how about the lettuce oh the lettuce um, from sowing between it's between 30 to 45 days upon sowing okay yeah. i see how long can this crop last for before oh. you remove everything and then plant something new all over yes okay this type this type of uh, tomato uh -huh. this cherry tomato yes. uh, it is it belongs to, you have uh, two groups of uh, tomatoes okay. you have determinate and in, indeterminate mm -hmm. so determinate ones are the the normal tomatoes that we have yes. um, at the farm. Yes. So when when it bear fruits, and after it bearing fruit, it will it will die. die yeah, yes. Yeah, yes it, but it will uh, give you fruits. You know, um, um, you know, it will give all the fruit yes, it, it can give. Yes, it will bear fruits. Yes. For some time and uh, then it dies. It so dies. It so for but for this one, uh -huh. this is indeterminate. Okay. So uh it does it doesn't have that much of uh limit on on on, on days on how long it can how, last yes how long it can last it can okay. last up to it can last up to six months okay and then it will continue to grow uh, -huh. uh this one can grow from six feet to 20 feet oh i see <laughs> it can go that high uh -huh, yes okay i uh -huh. see and with the regular farm mm. uh we have to deal with pest Yes. infestation and all that mm -hmm. how about backyard garden or hydroponics do you deal with any pests um yes there, there is a lot of uh issues with the pests okay. um there's there's an option um you can use pesticide okay you can use pesticide of course um but there are natural methods too ah. so if you don't want to use chemicals then then you can you can uh, you can use pesticide and mm. you can you, you can use the natural one okay so, but definitely you will have issues with pests. i know i know so you are not left out from the pest infestation or the attack mm -hmm. whether it's a regular farming or a backyard farming you're mm -hmm. watching the Ghanaian farmer mm -hmm. my name is Enyunam and my guest is michael and he's telling us all that you need to know mm -hmm. about this type hydroponics kind of gardening if you want to have one in your home we're going for a quick breather when we come back, we'll discuss how he goes about pruning and harvesting and every other information that you need to know. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <music> Thanks for staying. If you just tune in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime Television and we're discussing backyard garden. But this is a hydroponics type and Michael is telling us a lot and everything that you need to know if you want to have this type of your backyard garden this show is proudly sponsored by lizzie tomato mix of course <laughs> tomato right here and they process it so you can have the powder or the paste to cook it makes it easier for you if you want to be a distributor or you want to buy some just go to the market and get you so you can interact with us if you want to get in touch with michael to help you get this type of structure just go on our social media platform facebook linkedin and Instagram, The Ghanaian Farmer. Of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Ghanaian Farmer, and watch a lot of episodes. Michael, back to you. Yes. Uh, so, at this point, mm -hmm. um, if you want to prune yeah. the tomatoes, for instance, because I see it is all over the place, mm -hmm. how do you do the pruning? Because in the normal farm, mm -hmm. you use your cutlass or mm -hmm. your big mm -hmm. tractor mm -hmm. to do your weeding and clearing of some mm -hmm. weeds around. How mm -hmm. do you go about pruning? Okay, good. Okay, um, first, um, that's a a big advantage of using hydroponics okay. and this um, 
uh, you, since you're not using soil, okay. um, there's no problem, problem. with grass, okay. with no problem with grass, right? right? Um, okay, now um, pruning. Why, why do we do pruning? Yes. pruning? So with this type, um, there is a standard uh, proce um, procedure for this one or process that uh, the, maximum, the maximum stem you should have is like two. Okay. Two. So, so if you have too much of the stem or leaves, um, the tendency is you will have a uh, blossom drop. Ah. The flowers will drop, okay. or uh, the the fruits will not will not grow okay. that that big. So That's you you, you have you have to do the pruning. Okay. So why? So what is the pruning? Mm -hmm. So, for example, this one. Mm. So we have we have this. So this is the main stem. Okay. So what? This we don't need this. Oh, okay. So this one you don't need. So you can cut because it will just take. So you cut it. Okay. Uh, I prepare to use scissor because um, you know by you can do by hand, but it will okay. it's not good. Yes. So but anyway, so so with this um, you don't need this because uh, it will just uh, additional um, burden for your plant. Right. Uh, so it will eat up nutrients okay. that 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 they don't need. I see. Yeah. I see. So this is how you go about the pruning. Right? Yeah, yeah, pruning, okay. yes. All right, I see. Now, uh, this is a very interesting design. Mm -hmm. Okay. People would come after me, mm -hmm. ask him, and you know, you didn't ask him how mm -hmm. much he used in putting this tractor together. Mm -hmm. Are you able to give us an estimate of um, how much you used? Um, I cannot remember anymore the the price, but the the uh, they can check the local hardware store for the pipe. Okay. So this is a standard pipe. Mm -hmm. And then I um, I think about about um, with a, at least at least five hundred Ghana mm. cedis you you will have you will have the the setup this I setup. See. Okay, so I see you have some um, mm -hmm. pots, mm -hmm. mini pots down there. So uh -huh. these are the main roots uh -huh. for the tomatoes. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the, the other ones you use the small small caps. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Now, now let's talk about the harvesting. Mm -hmm. How do you harvest the tomatoes? And okay. At this level, is it okay for consumption? Sure. Yes. Cherry tomatoes. Yes. Uh, right now, uh -huh. these these are these are ready. These are ready for harvest. Okay. This this one. So we can we can harvest them. Okay. And then. Let me see. I think I have something here. Okay. So today I'm going <laughs> to eat vegetables, fresh ones for that matter. Okay. So, so help me. So the, let's cut it. Yes. So, when everything is... You is, also use scissors, right? Yes, I use okay. scissors. So, you know, just... You wow. Know. So, it's beautiful, right? It is. It, is. <laughs> it looks beautiful. So, for this one, for example, it, some, some of the fruit are still young. So, I, I cut them one by one. So, okay. I, don't, I don't want to waste some of... So, I use a scissor. I see. But why did some, you know, ripe and the others are not ripe yet? Um, they are on the same... Yes, yes. Um, Branch. Yes, the the problem there is uh -huh. uh, the problem there is mm. uh, insufficient uh, nutrients. Uh, not not just the nutrients, okay. but um, pollination. Okay. So um, because we we don't have bees now, okay. and that's another. Can I have the the brush? The brush. The brush. Okay, you can use toothbrush or uh -huh. the paintbrush. To do what? Um, to. To pollinate. So what you're going to do is uh -huh. uh, you just scratch this then uh -huh. so that it will... The surface? Yes. Uh -huh. So you you scratch uh, you scratch the uh, flower so uh -huh. that it will pollinate the, 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 the flower. So I it see. will bear fruit. If you don't do that, uh -huh. then you will have you will have this one. The, the flower will drop. It will not I bear see. fruits. <laughs> Okay. Because we don't have bees here, okay. so so now you you are the you are the you, you, you have to do it yourself. Yeah, you have to do it okay. yourself. And how often do you do this? Uh, I do it every morning and afternoon. Every morning and afternoon. Yes, before I go to work. Okay. And uh, after after work, so okay. it's it's a it's it's a very good. Okay. Ta um, uh, but at a point, do you? Uh, do you over harvest and you have to give to other people? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I see. All right, so let's move here. Mm -hmm. um, over here, I think mm -hmm. you have um, bell pepper. Yes. The green and the yellow. Yes, so I Can have... Can you harvest some for me? Yes. I want to have uh, some bell pepper yes. as well. Yes. So if you could help me. Yes. Whoa. So look at this that. This looks really big. <laughs> yeah, so... so how, how old is this bell pepper? Um... Like yes, 
I think two two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, two weeks. Okay, so I want some of the green ones as well. The green one. Yes. So help me with the green one. Uh, I think the chili pepper is not ready yet, right? No, no, not but yet. But what went into the selection of the various vegetables you have here? Oh. Uh, are they what you love the most? Can we take this because yes, it, yes, it, yes. it 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 breaks. So it's sensitive, as so you can see, it's break. But yeah. yeah, but this one is, it will turn red when when it ripens. Uh, do you like the red compared to green? No, uh, no uh, uh, the um, these these are you know red red type, but um, okay. So when they are not ripe yet, it, right. it's green. Okay. So that the lettuce, mm -hmm. it looks very fresh. Uh -huh. How old is it now? Uh, this is. Uh, um, Three weeks, uh, approximately three weeks from three sowing. Weeks. Yes, three, three weeks. weeks. Yeah, so three. can you still consume it? Three oh, weeks? Yeah, 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 we can. I see. And with the lettuce, where they are, you haven't brought the cups. It's just the pipe. Yes, and the pipe, and then with holes in it. And then with uh, co with cocoa, cocoa pits. pits. Yeah, and with you cocoa planted them in there. Uh -huh. You're really making good use of your <laughs> space. Yes. And that is really, really, really exciting. Mm -hmm. Right. So, uh, viewers, we are still discussing backyard gardens, specifically hydroponics type. Mm -hmm. And Michael has enlightened us more on what you need to know, what you have to do, and how to keep it. We are going for 60 seconds on our break, and when we come back, we'll wrap it up all on today's interview. Stay tuned. <laughs> Focus is on backyard garden, and our guest is a Philippine, but he's here in Ghana. He's working here. He's been staying here for quite a long time. Uh, I'm going to engage him. I don't know if I should speak a word to him or chi or da. Let's <laughs> 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 see what he will say. But Michael, we're about to wrap up on our interview. Okay. It's All been right. exciting having you, mm -hmm. and we've learned a lot. What message would you um, leave with our viewers? Mm -hmm. uh, probably somebody who's Mm -hmm. Who hasn't considered going mm -hmm. into a backyard garden? What, mm -hmm. what advice would you give to them? Uh, yes, uh, my advice to those who wanted to do, uh, who, uh, who wanted or who has no idea yet on backyard gardening, uh, they should try it. It's mm -hmm. it's uh, it's it's a good hobby, mm -hmm. and at the same time, you will have your uh, fresh fresh uh, fresh food mm -hmm. anytime you want. Okay. Okay, and. Uh, and it doesn't cost you so much, I and see. it saves you. It saves you money. It saves you money. So, viewers, uh, Michael is supposed to take us through the process of nursery before transplanting, and he has different types of crops he's currently nursing. So, mm -hmm. uh, Michael, over to you. Tell us what and what you have here, and what are the duration before you transplant them to this place? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, First, uh, this is the chili, red chili, the long one. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Ghanaian chili. Yes. So I just bought um, the red ones and then removed the leaves and okay. then dry, dry the, uh, sorry, yeah, dry, dry the seeds. The yeah, dry the seeds before before transplanting them here and then cover them and then um, uh, moist, moist, moist it. Not not so much water, just moist and then. After this one is after two weeks, mm -hmm. uh, it's it will be like this. Okay. So it will, and then this is ready for this, Yeah, this, this is ready for transplanting. Okay, so you move it from here and put it in the cups, right? Yes, uh, put it in the cups and okay. or at the uh, soil if you want. Okay. Yeah. All right, All that's right. fine. So yeah. this is chili pepper. Yeah, chili pepper. Type. Yeah, the red type. All right. And then here is the same thing uh, with the tomato mm -hmm. from the fruit. Then okay. dry the dry the seeds first, right. and then. 
Uh, one, when, once they are dry, uh -huh. then uh, you can you can um, grow them like these mm -hmm. seeds and then transfer them into different cups okay. if you wanted to do because I wanted to do hydroponics with this one. So okay. after after nursing them here, uh -huh. you can transfer them and grow them hydroponically. Um, you can use this is a one way. Uh, of growing growing uh, vegetables. Okay. So this this is lettuce. So uh -huh. you use foam on this one. Foam. Yes, you use foam. Can, foam. Yes, you can use normal foam or sponge. Okay. Okay, and then um, once you take it from here, you remove the cocoa pit and and uh, put foam. Put it in the foam, and then this this is uh, uh, a nutrient solution, a water with uh, with fertilizer. Uh -huh. uh, so it's a nutrient solution. Then. You just just put them there and it will grow it's really, really so you can grow fruits uh, vegetables without without what without soil <laughs> technically i'm so much overly impressed with what michael is doing here mm. it's that easy mm -hmm. to have you know this fresh vegetables right here but that's one thing you have to grow for me mm -hmm. okra okra uh -huh. Uh, yes, you can grow them that too. Yeah. Yes, and so I it, consume it's, okra a lot. Yeah. So the next time I come here, you need to have okra for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have okra. Right, so viewers, that brings us to the end of our interview. My name is Enuna, and my guest, mm. Michael. Serso. Awesome. This brings us to the end of our interview today, putting the spotlight on backyard farming, uh, especially we talked about hydroponics, and there are a lot of ways to go about it. Mm -hmm. Very, very exciting, not too dirty, and very clean. Mm -hmm. uh, my guest was Michael, mm -hmm. and my name is Ayana. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.